When using an RME interface with built-in effects, every input channel and output channel has its own EQ and dynamic settings. Click the EQ button on a channel to open the control panel for the three-band parametric EQ. Switch it on with the button on the top left. You can start with the factory presets located here, or create your own EQ curve. Once you have it dialed in, you can store your settings as a custom preset. Dynamics works the same way. Click the D button on the channel strip to open Dynamics and switch it on. Factory presets and user presets are available. Over on the right side panel, you can see how much of the available DSP processing power is currently being used. By default, the EQ and Dynamics are not recorded. They're only in the monitoring path of Total Mix FX. If you'd like to record inputs with these effects applied, open the control panel for the interface and select EQ plus D for record. The reverb and delay effects are set up as a bus, using input sends and output returns. In the control strip, click Show Effects to open the panel. Turn on reverb or echo and select a factory preset or choose your own settings. Now go to the input channel and raise the effect send to feed the reverb bus. Go to the output channel where you want to hear the effect and raise the effects return. This can be accessed either with the smaller fader on the channel strip or the knob inside the settings panel. The reverb signal cannot be recorded directly as you can with EQ and Dynamics. If you wanted to record the output signal with reverb, use the loopback feature in Total Mix FX.